Hey, cats and kittens, I'm back for another narrated PBR battle, uh, this time against another um, random opponent uh, off Wi-Fi. Um, I'm using my UU doubles team, uh, hopefully getting a win this time. Um, I start off with my Rotom and my Steelix. Uh, usually has been, a, in the past, it's been a pretty good combo. Um, for backup, I agonize a bit about what to choose, but I ended up with my Arcanine and my Gardevoir. My opponent appears to, you know, got items on every Pokemon. Um, most of them are from OU, so I figure he knows what he's doing for the most part, and I figure this should be a good match. Uh, yeah, here we go. I chose Waterfall Coliseum because it's so beautiful. Okay, he sends out uh, Dragonite, and I immediately regret not putting uh, Lantern on this team because Lantern uh, would have destroyed Dragonite. But I figure Stone Edge should do a good deal of damage. Um, as for dealing with Gengar, I don't know. I figure I'm kind of screwed here. Um, I use Substitute on my Rotom. Uh, because I really don't know what the Gengar is going to do. If Gengar was running max speed, it wouldn't matter. Um, and surprisingly, Rotom uh, succeeds in doing the substitute, so Gengar must not be running max speed. Good for me. Um, Gengar uses Dragon Pulse, uh, takes down the substitute, so uh, that was a wasted turn for me. But at least it lets me know that uh, Rotom outspeeds both of his dudes. Um, Dragonite uses Aqua Tail. I guess he didn't have a special choice for taking on Steelix. Um, really doesn't do much, even with the super effective hit. Uh, Steelix uses Stone Edge, and I get a crit. Takes out Dragonite. Yay me. Um, I think, I'm not sure if it would have one hit KO'd even without the crit. Um, but if it hadn't, you know, I don't think Dragonite could have really done much. Uh, it's... Uh, one way or the other, so the battle might have lasted another turn. Uh, he sends out his Slowbro. Um, I'm not really fearing much from him. Uh, Steelix, uh, Earthquakes, just to get an attack in. I don't know that I would have been better off with doing another move, but whatever. Rotom, uh, Shadow Balls against Gengar. Um, don't know whether that'll one-hit KO or not, but I figure might as well try. Rotom goes first, Shadow Ball hits, and takes out Gengar in one hit. So Gengar is not running a Focus Sash, uh, nor is it uh, running some kind of max spec death nature. Um, Slowbro does Surf, does a lot of damage to Steelix, but Rotom survives with a great deal of HP. Um, it's amazing how bulky that little guy is. Uh, and how hard it hits. Um, Earthquake does pretty much nothing. I really wasn't expecting it to do much. I was just trying to think of something to do with uh, Steelix on that turn. Leftover recovery. Yeah. Okay, so Steelix is down to next to nothing, and if I don't switch him out, he's going to die. Um, and uh, opponent sends out an Azelf. Uh, he's not going to do anything against Azelf, so. I switched over to Gardevoir, um, figuring, I don't know, better than Arcanine hitting, getting a Surf. Uh, Rotom does a Shadow Ball against Azelf, which will be super effective. Um, again, don't know if Azelf is, is going to be faster, but whatever. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Gardevoir comes out, traces own tempo. Eh. I guess if he was running a confusion set, that would have helped. Um, Azelf is down in a one hit, man, and this is without any charge beam boosts. This is without any charge beam boosts, uh, and Rotom is still one hit KOing these guys. I'm not sure whether he's just not properly EVing or whether Rotom really is that much of a beast, but yeah, and this is this is great. Even after another surf, uh, Rotom's still hanging on um, thanks to the leftover recovery. Um, it's, I just love that little guy. Uh, so here we are, it's the end of the match. Uh, my opponent decides to resign. Uh, Woohoo! A nice victory with this team. Uh, it was great after that awful defeat of a couple days ago.